Hey everybody, Winsreek here. Today's video comes from a question asked by the Stickman1 and they were looking for a way to throw objects with an arc on them and having gravity affect them. I came up with a little video where there's an orange and I can charge up my throw and the more I charge it up the further it goes. Gravity brings the orange downward, slows it down as it bounces, but doesn't remove the bounce effect completely. We'll go ahead and hop into the code here. First I'll explain all the objects we have going. We have our character, which will be called Hero. They have the platform effect, and they also have a variable called charging. It's a boolean, so it can either be charging or not charging, and it is set to not charge. Next we have the orange, and that has the bullet effect, the rotate effect, and the pin effect. The rotate just slowly spins it and starts out enabled. The bullet effect has bounce off solid and gravity set and is also enabled. I unchecked set angle. That does not work well with rotate. It will move it around based on the direction it's facing. And then it's currently not pinned to anything. And then we have our ground, which is just here on the bottom. That's just set to solid. We have an HP bar or a charge bar. That'll just show us how much of our charge is full. And I have different videos on charge bars if you're interested in those I will link them below and then we just have a text for the speed the orange is moving at and I kept this in just because uh, speed works in kind of interesting ways even when it's not moving at all and just sitting on the ground the orange speed never really stays at zero you can see it jump in between zero and two and then sitting on one for a long time it jumps up pretty high sometimes when it bounces weird off of its angles so I just left that up there to show the weirdness of it and also I interact with the ground to affect how fast my orange is moving as well as how much it's bouncing because I do have bounce off solid set. Inside of our events page I have some basic setups and this is just to set animations as well as directions for my hero. Under physics we have the orange and it's checking to see if its bullet speed is greater than zero. If it is, we're gonna subtract two. And this is just gonna slow the bullet down over time. The one weird interaction this has is bullet speed is not only how fast it's moving left and right, it's also affected by gravity. My orange, as it falls, hit 401 there, and then it started picking up again. That's because gravity was affecting it more than minus 2 every tick. So it becomes this slowdown effect that is then overpowered by how much the gravity is pushing on it. Next so we have on collision with the ground, and here I just half the orange speed. And this will affect the bounce height as well as how fast it moves over. And obviously you can tweak this and it'll still have the same effect, it'll just either do it faster or slower for you. And then the last one is just colliding with the orange, and this simply stops the orange. So it stops the bullet effect, it stops the rotate, and it also pins it to my image position on my hero. And my image position is just a point that I have on his hand, which moves around as he idles or runs. So this will just give him a little bit of uh, realism while he's moving around. The uh, orange will be bobbing up and down with him. Next we have our throw. This is based off of a few things. So on keyboard press for spacebar, if the orange is pinned, we're going to start charging. If we're charging, we're going to every tick add 8 to our charge. That'll give us a full charge in a couple of seconds, but we don't want it to go above 600 so I just have a second check here if it's greater than or equal to 600 we're gonna turn off charge and we're just gonna verify it's not slightly over 600 uh, by the time this got caught and reset it to 600 so this won't throw our orange but it will stop the charge from happening uh, and it will just sit at 600 until we release that spacebar that happens here and we release the spacebar again we set charging to false just in case we don't meet the 600, we still want to stop charging. Once that's stopped, we are going to unpin the orange. That allows us to let the orange leave our character. And then we're going to set our bullet to enabled and our bullet speed to whatever charges, which means if we 
pull it early, it can be anywhere between 0 and 600. And if we let it charge all the way, it will be 600. And we turn rotate back on, so we get a little bit of a realistic spin on the orange. And we set charge back to 0. That way, when we pick it up the next time, it's not already at the amount of charge where we left off. Hopefully it's helpful. Let me know in the comments, and I will catch you on the next one.